Hey everybody, my name is Nate and you're watching WASD20. Today I have for you MapForge. MapForge is a really cool uh, little dungeon making program, uh, map making program, that uh, is now being kickstarted. And I have here a prototype version of it uh, to give you guys a look at. And um, yeah, it's it's uh, pretty cool. So uh, let's kind of mess around with this. We'll talk a little about the Kickstarter, how that's going. Uh, we'll talk about the uh, application itself here and the trial version. So yeah, let's give it a look. <clears throat> there we go. Ah, right there. Okay, perfect. So. Mapforge prototype here. I have a blank slate and we're going to be taking a look. First off, let me just talk a little about their Kickstarter. Um, it says here, Mapforge is a low cost and easy to use map making software focused on creating gorgeous, high resolution, tile based, tactical scale battle maps. <clears throat> Currently has 929 backers, 21 days to go, or 22 days to go at time of recording. And um, yeah, they have 27000 about pledged of their $9,000 goal. So they're doing just fine. I'm not being paid to promote this in any way. I just thought, you know, I like to make dungeon maps. And this looks like a cool dungeon map maker. And uh, we'll take a look. And I'll, I'll tell you what I think here. Uh, but yeah, they're doing just fine. Now, I will say the price of this, I think, is now at $27. You can get a license. Um, but at they're at the free level here you get this little prototype and i almost feel like the prototype does more harm than good because all the buttons i click on let's click on paint palette this tool is only partially functional in this demo you can choose a color but can't do anything with it huh okay so i'm going to choose bright green okay great but i can't do anything with it right there's the bucket fill tool here and yeah i can't i can't do anything with it. It doesn't do anything. Um, oh, there we go. I filled that. <laughs> okay, so there's the bucket fill tool. But again, that green was useless. Um, yeah, you've got this right here. This feature is not yet available in the prototype. Snap to grid will not will be available. Um, paintbrush. This tool is not yet functional. Uh, let's try some of the other add-ons. Not yet enabled. Uh, tiles. This feature is not yet enabled. So it's like 90% of the things you click on here say, "Hey, this is not here yet." And um, I don't know that that sort of anyway that put a bad taste in my mouth at first. But as I'm looking more at it, it's like, "Hey, I guess it's kind of cool that they're giving you something to show that hey, this actually does work," and um, and giving you a taste for what's what's to come. So I don't know, a little bit torn about that. I almost feel like it would have been better. Uh, to give us a more detailed walkthrough of someone making dungeon maps with multiple uh, tile sets and, and showing some of that off a little bit more than their, their pitch video does. Their pitch video does a pretty good job, I think, of showing the basics. But Anyway, enough about that. Let's build a dungeon map. So we're going to go File New here. And let's start it off. So if we start at the top tiles here, we get the more basic ones. And yeah, we only have one look here, one tile set. Uh, and it is the Dark Crypts, but they even have sci-fi, I think. Um, they, they've got just a bunch planned, and there's going to be lots of add-ons, I think, um, options to buy more. Uh, I don't know if any of the add-ons are going to be free, but um, yeah. Anyway, let's, let's start building a, a dungeon here. So we're going to say there's an entrance to this dungeon that is, and we're going to use this stamp tool here. And I there was no instructions for... How to rotate that's another issue with the prototype here how to rotate these i looked in the help i looked in you know we have uh help right here i didn't see any hotkeys or any buttons to rotate it looks like these would be rotate right here but when we click on one let's try now getting this i don't want that okay there we go now if i put this here and i click rotate this tool is not yet functional for now use the rotation hotkeys but it didn't say what those were um so i did find them they're the kind of like uh, I don't know what they are, the arrow bracket thingies, <laughs> and uh, there we go. So now you can rotate them. All right, so we'll put our entrance to this dungeon. Uh, is there an undo button? That's another thing I was wondering. Let's try edit. Nope, menu is not yet enabled. Ah, I'm going crazy. All right, let's try. It. Oh, no erase. Okay, so we'll go file new. So yeah, once again, the prototype pretty frustrating. <laughs> All right, so we got the stamp here. 
we'll put this right here that's going to be our entrance now we're going to do a lovely a lovely t intersection oh i hit the r button on accident which is randomized which does cool things so you can see all these options down here at the bottom for different looks and there's there's a lot of them there's a ton of them um you can see different placements of lights different furniture and, and dungeon dressing cobwebs which are you can see right there in that one but anyway we're going to rotate this tile whoops i keep hitting r it's not r there we go we're going to rotate that tile there and then we will also um let's do a little t right here and then we'll do a dead end right here and right here these will both be dead ends there we go okay and if i hit r once again we can randomize and get like yeah that's pretty cool that makes it look really cool actually and i feel like hitting r is just a good way to do it unless you have like a dungeon already drawn that you're like i want to map out this specific dungeon uh hitting r to randomize just puts cool stuff in there we got some cobwebs some tables some sconces a suit of armor a chest like yeah just just cool stuff so um it looks really good that's what i'll say about this like the dungeons the art um, it looks really good the lighting is gorgeous so i've used some free map making tools um there's one that uh works really well with rule 20. i'll have to do a video on it some other time i can't remember what it's called off the top of my head uh, but it also has the option to buy some extra things but um there's there's a lot more they give you for free but the dungeons just don't look nearly as good like these these look great they're they've kind of got a 3d feel to them again the lighting is awesome it looks like something out of you know you're zooming out on a skyrim dungeon or something um which hey that's another way you could make dungeon maps by the way all right so let's keep going here we're gonna do a um we'll do a bend actually i think no we're gonna do a t but we'll make one side a room rotate that we'll make a room actually small room right here oh I thought I had it okay there we go and then keep going here these ones are kind of hard to use the chamber of uh, the corner that's for like a really big room I think and I'm generally not going to be doing that maybe I'll try one of those toward the end um, but for now, let's stick to these ones near the top and let's get this and we'll actually make it go off the screen here. Oops. I hit that R button again. That's dangerous without an undo button. Okay. See, this is kind of problematic. Like I can't, Hmm. Yeah. I can't put that there. So I really, I, I don't think there's anything I can do about that unless actually, what if I put this here? And then I put the other thing over it. That's probably a good way to go. Here we go. Yeah, okay, so that works. Okay, not bad. And then um, we'll make this a dead end. And <clears throat> this, I'll have to rotate. Put that there. Let's make a small room here. I don't think it'll let us. So yeah, that's it's a room, but it's you know a little bit off the screen, and I'm okay with that. It's not really letting me scroll down. I kind of wonder if that's going to be an option. I, I feel like it will. There's these zoom out and zoom in buttons, <clears throat> excuse me, which are not enabled yet. Um, so hopefully those will be enabled, and you'll be able to, you know, zoom out and kind of change the scale. And if you feel like I'm getting off the screen here, you can just make it bigger. That would be nice. Um, there's the option to put text here. Um, so that is also cool. You can put labels on there. Um, let's change this here. Ah, we're going to randomize in the end anyway. Let's not. Okay, now we will keep our dungeon going here. Use the uh, four-way intersection. Oh, got to change back to the stamp there. Four-way intersection. Okay. My mouse scroll button doesn't work on this. That would be nice too. That's an another thing I hope they add is that I can just use my mouse scroll in there instead of having to click on the up and down arrows. You can use hotkeys up, down, um, like that too. But it doesn't really move the whole thing. 
right there. And now let's see if we can maybe get a chamber, a large chamber. I don't know if it's going to work real well, but we'll try it. Again, it's a little tricky. So if we did, all right, let's try this. This sort of thing here. And then maybe we make that there. Yeah, we'll do that. And then um, I think right here we'll actually do, hmm, this could get a little tricky. It's not bad, <laughs> there's that weird thing in the middle. Okay, yeah, that's that's pretty good. And then if I can just override maybe, perhaps <laughs> this right, oh, it's a little weird, but yeah, that's decent. We'll go with it. And now let's see if we can put a dead end right here. Yep, okay. So there's a little dungeon. Let's now hit R to randomize and get, see what cool looks we can get. Yeah, see, ya? it's pretty cool. All right, um, I think that's pretty much all you can do. Let me click through these and yeah, I, I've already clicked them all. So the bucket fill does work, uh, the stamp tool does work, but pretty much everything else uh, does not work. There is an option for some tile sets, I think they're gonna have daylight and night options. Um, so you can see, how would this look in the day? How would this look at night? I assume they'll have some outdoor environments. Um, but anyway, you can go to their Kickstarter and get all the details of what the product uh, will actually have. Um, I skimmed it last week, but I haven't looked at it in a few days, so I, I honestly can't remember everything. Uh, they do have some add-ons that you can purchase, I believe, right now. Bandit Camp, Desert Roads and Ruins, Winter Forest, Tropical Island, Desert Maps, uh, Sewer Maps, uh, The Druids Trees, Canyon, um, modular in map tile set. And those are all, you know, five, uh, I guess, six to $10, it looks like. Um, let me see if we can find the science fiction. I can't find them, but uh, someone mentioned that they do have those as well. Um, there's, yeah, there's all sorts of other things. You can buy extra like dungeon um, uh, elements. So little other, you know, little things you can put in your dungeon probably. So it looks like there's going to be a lot of ways to customize. They've, they've got some really gorgeous pictures of, of other options. Um, yeah, they do have a little video of, of walking through the prototype here. So yeah, we can. Let's, let's do this. Uh, we can file, export map, and then we can go, we'll go PNG. Uh, there is this grid overlay. Um, I think if I hit G. Yeah, so it's weird that the... Like they would put the hotkeys in to work, but I think that's what this is right here. Uh, oh, that's snap to grid, so that's a little different. But anyway, it's weird that some of the hotkeys work, but there's no buttons for some of these things. Let me see if this works. Yeah, this tool is not yet functional. Is that grid overlay settings? Okay, anyway, if you hit G, you can get rid of it. Um, I like it without, because uh, especially in this one, there's already squares in the, the tiles. Um, but yeah, I mean, the, the maps look really good. Um, I am not going to back it because I like to make my own dungeon maps. If I was a DM who was concerned about time, um, let's say I'm running a Roll20 campaign. And I, I kind of am a busy working guy and I need to quickly just kind of whip up some dungeon maps, uh, custom dungeon maps for a Roll20 game. I think this makes a lot of sense. Um, these maps actually, I think if you use their, some of their base tile sets, you can actually publish them too. So if you're, you know, into making modules and stuff like that and publishing them, I think that you can, I think it includes a license for you to be able to do that with their basic tile sets. Um, some of the add-ons and depending, you know, what, what you're using, it might not be, uh, some of the art might be copyrighted. And I think there's the option to, uh, include your own like custom stuff too. Oh, it looks like this got screwed up right here. Anyway. So yeah, there is the option to export, um, you can save the map here. Uh, we'll just call it video. Uh, I think it saves it as a text file, which is kind of interesting. Let's see if we can open any others here. Sample crypt, let's try that one. Okay, yeah, so here's a sample crypt. Uh, pretty cool looking. Lots of cobwebs. <laughs> 
Let's see what else we can do here. Um, so that still works. License. Okay, so yeah, purchasing a license. Technical demo. Uh, so yeah, lots of different effects um, for the walls. So that's kind of cool. Yeah, this just shows that. Uh, click to add drop shadow filter, bevel filter. So anyway, they just show different options here for get, getting different looks. So it does look really customizable. Uh, this map was drawn in an image editor like Photoshop or GIMP. Uh, you should be able to achieve results like this or better in MapForge. And I agree. I think what, what they show so far looks better than this. Um, but personally, I'm not backing it just because I, I like to do my own art. But again, if you're needing some dungeon maps quickly, custom, you want them to look really good. Uh, this is a great tool. And, you know, honestly, it's just kind of fun to play with. So, uh, yeah, that's MapForge, guys. I uh, hope you enjoyed this. If you like this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. If you uh, have any comments or questions, I'd love to hear from you down below. Whoa. And, uh, yeah, if the MapForge guys are watching this and you guys want to send me a full version once it's done, I'd be happy to do a full review for you. Uh, but I probably won't be backing it myself. Um, anyway. Looks pretty cool. I think uh, for, for a lot of people, they're going to be happy with this investment of 25 or 27 or whatever, how many dollars you're paying for it. So, yeah. All right, everybody take care. You'll see me again very soon. 